Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Health workers at the Woolensey Health Centre say the absence of accommodation and other health facilities continue to hinder quality health care. They complained a block meant to accommodate them has been converted into an office space for the district's health directorates. The Willensee Health Center started as a chips compound in 1997. It was elevated to a health center in 2004 after the area was carved out of the then Bimbila district. The health center runs OPD, maternity, emergency and psychiatric services. The center has 15 staff made up of seven nurses, four midwives, two dispensary technicians and one nurse practitioner who heads the facility. As at the time of visit, the nurse practitioner had left for school. The center recalls over 7,000 OPD attendants annually, with malaria topping the cases reported. In 2018 alone, it recorded 2,263 malaria cases, while in 2019 mid-year, a total of 2,413 malaria cases were recorded. Though a health center, it serves as the only referral center in the Nanumba South District. They explain the center lacks the facilities of a referral center. He listed staff accommodation, delay in supply of medical consumables, insanitary conditions, and state of the labor room as some of the challenges of the health center. Our labor room we have only two labor beds. Our number of midwives have increased. For the past years, we have about four to five midwives, but it's only one that the facility can accommodate. The rest are renting elsewhere. And mostly when they are called at midnight, the security has to come and go and accompany them to the place. The only toilet facility serving both staff and workers was in a deplorable state, forcing patients to resort to open defecation. The dispensary was empty and has become a storeroom for other materials. People are storing items here because there are no drugs here. I think if there were drugs, this micro, I mean, uh, public addressing system and books wouldn't have been here. Um, we receive drugs from region and the car comes for us in a while. Um, sometimes it comes with a very small drugs. Within a week or two, everything is run out. The Nanumba South District Assembly has also constructed and handed over a theater block to the health center, but the theater is yet to be equipped. A resident, Amadou Safianu, is unhappy about the health care delivery at the health center. The facility is there as a white elephant. That, nothing is happening in the hospital. Even simple gloves for, for labor, you don't have. Even when you go there, uh, when you, if you send your, 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 your pregnant woman to, to deliver, even gloves, you have to come back and buy gloves. Plaster, you have to come and buy plaster. Even chloroquine, injection, you have to come and buy it. Paracetamol, common paracetamol. Even when you send, a, a, when, when you go there as a health insurance user, they will not even give you para. Nanumba South District Health Director Victoria Aboyela explained it had no accommodation for its offices. When the district was started under a tree, and then uh, later on, they came and built uh, an accommodation for the office space but then they didn't finish and then they quickly built the staff accommodation so when that one was finished we decided to move into the staff accommodation why is they continue with the office accommodation but since then it, they have not continued and it's still like that